So my best bet that I'm starting off with here is the Mets covering the line tonight against the the uh, the, the Braves. So uh, Braves scoring under two and a half against the Mets plus one fifty. Look, Max Scherzer has been lights out since he's come back. Ten runs in his last ten uh, over his last ten starts, and that goes back to right after he come, came back from the injury. So look, I don't see this as a high scoring game at all. In fact, I see this probably. Three, two, uh, Mets win. Um, I think Scherzer's just going to be absolutely lights out. And again, with this race happening in the NL East, and I think because Atlanta's so hot, I think that's probably where the numbers are riding with them. But I'm actually buying Scherzer to just be lights out. I think it's going to be a great pitcher's duel, probably worth probably actually turning my TV directly to watch that uh, to see, you know, who can last into the eighth inning. Yeah, I went back and my best bet because I kind of like the under for the full game and that one, but it is seven, which Mm -hmm. is pretty low. So for me, my best bet is going to be the under in another game. It's going to be the under seven and a half runs between the Phillies and the Cardinals. Speaking of ace pitchers, we got a couple of aces squaring off in this one and Aaron Nola and Miles Miklas. No, they don't have the big names that Max Scherzer has, but also look at the trends in this one. Both of these teams have had offenses who have absolutely struggled over the past few games. Both these teams have hit the under in five straight matchups. So at some point, maybe they'll start scoring runs. But looking at this Philly lineup, he used to rake. They're really struggling without Bryce Harper. And plus, they have a tough matchup today against Miles Mikolas, who has been fantastic this season for the Cardinals. And plus, the Cardinals have an excellent bullpen who also have a, a healthy Jordan Hicks now who throws nothing but 102 mile an hour sinkers. Yeah. So I think it's going to be tough to score runs against these two. And plus, Aaron Nola has been excellent against the Cardinals so far in his career, five and two with an ERA of 2.19. You might have to hold your breath a little bit with the Philly bullpen, but I'm hoping both of these starting pitchers can take off most of the load and have a couple of gems here against each of these opposing lineups. So under seven and a half runs between the Phillies and the Cardinals is my best bet. Yeah, I'm with you on that, especially with the Phillies. Um, they're hit, they're sink or swim when it comes to the run scoring. You know, Schwar- Schwarber's picked up some of the slack where uh, Bryce Harper's left off. But if they're not scoring five runs, they might score one in the next. They got shut out, I think, a couple of days ago. So I'm with you. In, in terms of the run total being under seven and a half, I, I just think this is one of those situations where you're going to see probably uh, it probably be some nice props on strikeouts in this game as well, uh, because I think you'll see a lot of swing and misses in this game too. Yeah, wouldn't be surprised, especially going against the Phillies lineup. They tend to strike out a lot. Yep. Yeah, they can hit pretty well, but also it's feast or famine, kind of like you said. Well, KJ, this is a very serious sports betting show. So now. <laughs> We go to the very serious portion of our show, which is when we ask our Magic 8-Ball to fade or tail our bets. Holy crap. Magic 8-Ball. That's right, because we needed a little magic on this show. Um, (laughs) Is that what they call it now? Is that another buzzword for it? (laughs) I don't know. Well, we're we're talking about (laughs) 8-Ball that we got from the toy store that actually has answers and provides us with them as is hashtag sources. So... I thought the answer was just say no. I'm kidding. (laughs) Eight ball. Let's start with KJ's play. It is the Braves team total under two and a half against the Mets for big plus money. Plus 150. Eight ball. Do we like it? Let's shake you up. Eight ball says very doubtful. (laughs) Yeah. The eight ball doesn't know how to spell Scherzer either. I'm sure. (laughs) Probably not. All the eight ball does is yes or no answers. So, um, you know, three didn't that much too well. (laughs) <laughs> all right, so the eight ball actually loves me, though, and usually he's all over all of my plays. So let's ask the eight ball. Do we like the under seven and a half runs in the Phillies and Cardinals matchup? Eight ball says it is certain. What do you know? <laughs> it is rigged. How about that? Rigged. <laughs> That's what Jinx says all the time because it, so- it is it's a little wild how much the eight ball tails me on the show. And plus, I notice how you hold the eight ball. Like, the, that's the magic trick. You probably use your pinky to press a little button on the bottom of the eight ball, you know, to stop it from spinning. See? Oh, see, now you make an adjustment holding the eight ball. 
Oh, so now you're going to spin it around. Do you see a that. button on here, KJ? Well, I can't tell. It's, I mean, these are small cameras we're working with. Give us the 2400 pixel camera and I can see close up. This is 4K. What, what, you know what? This reminds me a little bit of. This reminds me a little bit when they take those videos and, it, you know, they suddenly flip a camera and then it's showing something else. Like you could be doing that with the eight ball. Like that crack doesn't seem consistent with the crack on a typical eight ball I would find at a store in the mall. Look, look at that. Look, I got two colors going on here. Like what is How like many a eight balls have you studied? Just this one here. But I'm saying the color, like the color, the color balance isn't equal on one side of the ball to the other. It's rigged. I'm with Jenks on it. It is rigged. Oh my God. Stop it, Aisha Curry. This no, game is not rigged for ratings or money. But if you do <laughs> want to watch the Magic 8 Ball and take my side, because obviously I've got it on camera here, watch yes. us on Twitch. Watch the Daily Tip each and every day live on Twitch, twitch.tv slash BetQL. Uh, KJ, before we get to BetQL's plays, do you have yeah. any other plays that you like today? I actually like the Rangers in their game with. Um, the A's to score first at plus 100. Look, Adrian Martinez has been horrible this year. ERA of six, a war of negative 0.1. His last three runs earned runs in the last uh, in his last matchup in five innings, three runs in four innings in the inning in the game before that, and three runs. Uh, I'm sorry, and, and okay, and did okay in his debut against Detroit. So. I'm saying that the A's are probably going to score first. Um, wait, did I just? Oh, I'm sorry. I think I have that backwards. I think I want the the uh, the other side of that. The is, Rangers. Think, the Rangers to score. That's right. I said that right. Rangers score first. Rangers yeah, score first right. over the A's. Okay, I got it right. Rangers score first over the A's plus one hundred. Ooh, I've never bet on that before. I think that's kind of in the same ballpark as like the Nerfy Yerfy bets. Which we normally do on the show. KJ, do you ever yeah. bet on Nerfy, Yerfy, which is no run first inning, yes run first inning? Yeah, there are some teams I would do. I've never done it, but there are some teams I could see I would do that with. Um, a team I would do that with would be the A's. Mm, I don't know. You've played baseball. I just yes. feel like it's so much of a crapshoot because the best pitcher in all of baseball messes up on one pitch. One pitch out of the zone, or in the zone, I should say, and the hitter will make them pay. So I just think it's so much of a coin flip that I don't like those bets. Yeah, I think it's one of those situations, if you believe a pitcher doesn't see five batters in the first inning, then yeah. Because if you've got a bad team, usually the order gets bad after the fourth, after the fourth batter. So if, if they don't face – if they even if they face only four batters in an inning, I could still say, hey – they gave up a hit, but it may not be a big hit, and they'll still get out without giving up a run. But if they got play, if they got hitters in the four, five, six hole, I would never bet it. Yeah, but what about solo home runs? Because that's what I'm talking about. Is you can strike out the side in the first inning, but if you have one pitch that's down the plate, and one of those first three batters, they'll make yeah. you pay because those are the first, uh, the best three batters usually in the lineup, with the exception of maybe the four and five hole hitter. Yeah, well, that's why I would take my chance on some of these bad teams. I mean, but now I'd probably stay away from it because usually that's a that you would make like on the Orioles or something like that. You can't even do that now. You know, like they're they're that good. Well, I don't say they're that good. They've that they're that much better. So yeah, I would stay. I'm with you. I would stay away from them because they are too risky of a crapshoot. But they do have high returns, though. Yeah. So let's check in with the Donkster and see what your BetQL five star best bet of the day is for insight analysis, historical trends, and more five star best bets. You can download the BetQL app or go to BetQL.com. So let's check in on the don Donkster. Can we get a little hee haw action? Uh -oh. That's right, the Donkster, who we have dubbed the mascot of BetQL, the Chalk Donkey, because normally the Chalk Donkey is playing juicy plays. Uh -huh. His play today is the Tigers-Royals, both games of that doubleheader going under their totals of 9.5 for minus 120. I'm wondering if this is just a numbers play, but I will yeah. say one thing. The Tigers have been much better as of late, so I'm not sure if I'm willing to fade those Tigers bats. Yeah, nine, that's a high number. Especially the Royals are not going to carry their side of that number. So, like, if unless you tell me the Tigers is going to win, like, nine to one, 
or nine nothing or you're in a nine to one and nine and a half on the second game like you know maybe on that second game because you know some of the worst players from from both teams will be in there and that might get high scoring but he's I, yeah I can see taking the under on both of those